Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Optronics LED clearance and side marker light. So the first thing I noticed about this light is that it is very bright. Even in a well-lit room like we're in today, it's really tough to even look at. It's almost going to hurt your eyes if you stare at it too long. It's going to throw that light 180 degrees. So no matter what angle you're at, you're going to be able to see it illuminated. So that's really going to give you a little more peace of mind knowing that not only at nighttime, but also in the daytime, people are going to see your trailer. And what makes it so bright is the fact that it's an LED. These LEDs are much more reliable and longer lasting than the traditional style incandescent bulbs and much brighter. So we're getting all this light from one small LED. So that sure beats a really large incandescent bulb that we have to worry about breaking and replacing. The LED style, we know it's gonna work and should last for a very long time. So what's really nice about this too is that the light is going to be really small in size. So we're going to have a ton of different options on where and how we mount it up to our trailer. And because it is small, you're not just limited to trailers. Some guys like to put these on their side-by-sides, their four-wheelers, their mud trucks, and so on. So we really do have a lot of versatility with this setup. So it's kind of cool whenever we turn the light off, it's going to have a clear lens. And to me, compared to the regular style orange lenses, I think the clear one just kind of blends in a little bit better and gives us more of a modern look. But really at the end of the day, it's just going to be which type you prefer. So at the end of the day, a light that you know is going to work and you really can't go wrong with. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's really straightforward. There's only two wires we're going to need to hook up. So it shouldn't take you hardly any time at all. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that together now. So if you just kind of hold the light in your hand, right away the first thing that I can tell is that it's pretty well built. Everything feels really solid. The casing is nice and hard, so I think it'll last a long time. If we flip it over and look at the back, there is some sealer inside of there, so which is gonna make this light submersible. However, I do suggest if you do completely submerge this to at least turn the power off to it just to be on the safe side. It's gonna have a sheathing that runs along the wire here to help keep them in good shape. And what kind of separates this one is the length of wire. So it gives us a ton of wire to work with. That way, if you don't have a ton to work with on the trailer side, this is gonna kind of make up for that and make life a little bit easier when you're trying to get it hooked up. It is also going to come with the grommet that you need. So this will slide over your wires and into your trailer. That way your light can plug into it. I'm not gonna push it all the way down on there because it is a little tricky to get off, but you get the idea. And that's nice. Just one last thing. You're not gonna have to worry about picking up separately or have to worry about reusing your old beat up one. Now, just to make sure this will work with your setup, I'll give you a few measurements. The diameter of the light is going to be three quarters of an inch. The length of it or the depth is going to be 15 sixteenths of an inch. And if you're curious, the length of the wire is going to be 14 inches long. To begin our install, we're going to be here at the corner of our trailer where we're going to put our light in right here. First thing you're going to want to do is take the grommet and push it into place. So straightforward, this just pushes right in. So once we have it in there, we'll take our light, take the wires, slide it through. We'll push that light into the grommet, just like that. And then we can focus on hooking up our light wires to our existing trailer wires. So what we're gonna do to get that done is use heat shrink buck connectors. These aren't included, but you can pick them up here at E-Trailer. So I'll just slide the bare end of the wire into the buck connector. Crimp it down. Same thing for our white light wire here. So the white wire coming out of our light is going to be for a ground, so that's where this existing trailer wire goes. So 
that gets plugged in, crimped down, and our black trailer light wire is going to be the power wire. So we'll hook that into our existing trailer wiring here, crimp it down, and since these are heat shrink buck connectors, I'll come in with my heat gun to seal up the ends. So before we kind of clean up our wiring, I'm going to put power to the trailer. That way we can make sure our light works. If we turn it on, it's illuminating as it should. So what I'll do now is clean up our wiring and then show you what it looks like once I have that done. And this is what our light looks like secured. I just used some zip ties to hold it up in place. You will need to pick those up separately. You can find them right here at e-trailer. But other than that, if you have a light for the other side, you'd simply just repeat this same process over there. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Optronics LED clearance and side marker light.